we're back. GSL Codes goes on with with or without DRG, I guess. Yeah, I guess so, man. I, I, it feels weird to have him eliminated. I know. Like, a season without DRG, like, crushing through brackets. I mean, I didn't expect him to actually win this season. But... That's, I don't well, know. I mean, I just... I, I thought, like, you know... Well, actually, normally I do expect him to win every single tournament. And I'm almost right a lot of the time. But... <laughs> uh, whatever. He's, he's out, unfortunately. Teja looking good. Jockey looking good. The STC looking even better. Oh, looking. He's like a 10 out of 10. Yeah, man. He's an 11 out of 10. Oh, yeah. That's one in one tenth. It's a mixed number. Just like that nerd mixed up everyone's votes. Damn. All right. We're going to go into... <laughs> we're going to go into... Uh, what are we doing? A uh, game. Teja versus Jockey. Thank you. Taren versus Taren. Cloud Kingdom is the map. One player will advance. Ooh, look at this GSL shot. Wow, look at that nerd. He's deadly. But so is he. Oh. Who's going to win? I don't know. We'll find out soon. Get ready. In the upper right, cross spots. We have a player who managed to defeat DRG WTF. I know, right? His ID is... Liquid Tizza. In the blue, down in the bottom left, a very impressive player, a GSL champion. His ID is... Enes Hosotjakji. I should start opening these questions. Be like, his ID is? <laughs> What's his name? They're like, they're like Jack G. And I'm like, thank you. Okay. <laughs> it's a weird place to put a barracks, but. Yeah. Well, I think when the SCV comes and he's scanner eyes, like, uh oh, is there a proxy rex? Yeah, but I mean, he just. The SCV always makes a circle around the mineral patches, anyways. Mm. So just see it and be like, oh, that's a weird place to put a barracks. <laughs> yeah. Look that. Maybe gonna use it for some add-ons that he wants to hide. Maybe he's gonna hide a second barrack somewhere. Well, if no, no, no. If he does, actually, I'm gonna have to make fun of him because putting that barracks that far away from your opponent and then going for a the second one. The farthest location to rally. He's like, this said, is. That's a good point. Yeah, that would just be like GG or toast if you win. Yeah, I guess I do. I guess I'm going on the round of 16. Oh. <laughs> Tasteless. <laughs> what, what, what? If I go another round 16, does that mean you have to cast Code A? <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, so, man. God, that's so funny. Then you just, like, beat Wolf and come back up to Code S. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Space Shark in the middle of the map is, um, has a, actually has a Twitter account. I saw that. That's funny. It's weird. It's funny. How does he have that? I don't know how he. I don't know how he tweet right tweets now, man. With his fins. What if no one's playing this map after that? I don't know. He tweets with the iPhone, man. Auto corrects. Uh, That's why none of his tweets probably make any sense, man. The funniest thing you guys can ever see is is when it's winter time, and Artosis has gloves on. Oh no! And he's got oh, his no. iPhone. No, oh no! no this is actually hard to, because you know if you have gloves on, uh, you can't. It's the, the slide thing to get the iPhone. The screen open isn't working, so Artos just like takes the phone up and holds it up to his nose and slides it across his it's face. It's like actually so sad, but I do try to. <laughs> I can't believe you told that story. I heard it coming. It's like, I can't stop this, can I? I can <laughs> no. either kill you and go to prison, or people can hear that I. Yeah. you have caught me trying to do that. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. What do you want? <laughs> and, if, and, if, and if you tried to stop me, and I realized that you were sensitive about it, I would have just lied about something else. Oh, really? Later. Would have been even worse. Yeah. I'm like, ah, just tell him the truth. All right, well. I would be like, did you know that... Did you know that Artosis builds builds trains in his basement? <laughs> Little toy trains? That's a lie, right? Yeah, that's a lie. Okay. <laughs> have my conductor hat. Hey, man. I wear it while I play <laughs> StarCraft missions that have 
trains on them. In fact, I made a StarCraft map myself with just a train going around in a circle. If you, if you build trains in basements, you got the sickest Viagra prescriptions, man. Um, now, plenty of those, man. Plenty of those, man. All right, so <laughs> it's true. Teja and Chakji both going for three racks play with pretty quick command centers. I love how I just attacked another another nerdy passion passion thing. No, I know it's actually like, what's so funny like, about it. I play it StarCraft is all day. And that's cool, but you build trains and basements. That's dumb. <laughs> I know, I know. That's what's so funny. It's like saying like country music's bad. Only the music I like is good. It's like what? <laughs> Tasteless. You're out of control. I am. Both three barracks scene, by the way. Stereotypes are funny though. So yeah, they are. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, this is complete mirror builds thus far. Uh, just slightly different times. For instance, Jokchi, quicker eBay, quicker plus one. Uh, whereas, you know, Teja, a little bit more supply. And, wait a minute, actually, let me check the reactor timings. Yeah, yeah. Jokchi's reactors are actually quicker as well. Do we... Hmm? Is, there, is there any... Rationale for that? I mean, did he? Did, uh, no, no, I did Tage figured spend because, the gas uh, on something else. No, it just means Tage's gas was uh, a bit slower overall. Uh, because I was like, okay, if you bought the plus one so quickly, maybe your reactor's a little bit quick. You have a few more Marines, but actually, just got a little bit later on the plus one. Uh, you know, it's not actually a big difference. They're sitting right around the same numbers of everything. I would say Jockchi's build is actually just slightly better than Tage's build. Uh oh, careful, Tage. Careful, nerd. Hey, just gonna get out of there. Will this marine in the back get out, though? Ah. Oh, yeah, actually is. He's, He's gonna, gonna get gonna away. A little bit All right. hurt. He's gonna go back home and hope that a med back comes Thank out. God. Thank God he only got shot five times in the back. That's not a problem. No, oh, man. It's Bullet Tooth Tony down there. <laughs> what? Bullet Tooth Tony, man. You never watched Snatch? No. Oh, movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a great movie. Yeah. All right. All right. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Careful. Uh, that. All right. Uh, so, uh, I mean, this is just complete mirrors, man. Complete mirror builds with Jock G's, uh, you know, plus one armor coming before the plus one attack is done of his opponent. No stim quite yet. Complete mirrors, you say. And, uh, I wonder what kind of mirrors they will be, Artosis. Will they be those funhouse mirrors? Or will it, be the, will it be a magic mirror that shows you what you truly look like? Like who you truly are? <laughs> you know what's odd is that the fact that Teja hasn't even started Stim yet. I mean, he's getting his third base nice and quick, which is good. But he has the money to start Stim. He's had it for a long time. You know what? Actually, he just forgot it. I'm going to go ahead and say Teja forgot that Stim because it makes no sense to not have Stim started yet. In fact, Jokchi's almost done Stim. And uh -oh. As his medivacs pop out, he could probably just... Is there Quick question. There's, yeah, now there's no question in my mind. Okay, so Stim. okay, so Tage just basically forgot to get like perhaps the most important upgrades. Um, yeah, <laughs> that you could get in a situation like this. It's uh, a terrible thing to forget. Is, is there any way to actually check if your opponent has stim other than them no. stimming? Can you like no no can you, can you like click on their marine? Is, is or, yeah no you can't. There's no, there's no way to do it. All yeah. right. I've, well, that's funny. Yeah, he's and Tage. Uh, after the first time that they meet each other, we'll probably figure out he doesn't have stim when he presses the button to stim. Oh my god. Chases the button away and then realizes he doesn't have it. This is actually, if Jockchi ex expects a stim somewhere, I wonder if he can make a call and say, wait a minute, you don't have stim. Because at this point, it, I wait, mean, you should have stim, man. There's gonna be a moment where he, hit, he hits that T key and nothing happens and hits it again and again and he's like, Ex expletives are just coming out of his mouth. Okay. Yeah. And plus oh! one armor just finished. He hits a beautiful timing and against no stim. It looks like Jokchi with 1-1 one, one upgrades and that stim is going to break right through here. And that's actually a game winner, taste. Yeah, that's game. Without stim and with that plus one on Jokchi. You can even armor. see, uh, I don't know if, if you look inside the booth right now. Uh, look, yeah. Uh, you can see Atasia's face. He's like, oh my god, yeah, see, just as he upgrades it, yeah. at that moment, the, the sigh came out of his mouth, he goes, oh my yeah. god. Yeah, this is, uh, and you know, it wasn't just that, it was also, we have to point out, Jock G with that really quick upgrade, got that plus one armor so quickly, which makes a huge difference. He's killed off 12 SCVs, he's over 25 supply ahead. Beautiful position for Jock G here. 
Teja is, I mean, the deficit he's in for forgetting Stim is unbelievable. He just, he's gonna remember Stim from now on. Yeah, no kidding. It's, well, games like this are the worst kind of games you could experience as a professional gamer because... Heartbreakers. Yeah. Because okay, well, if I if I hit Stim, you know, not at 95 minerals, but 100 minerals, I guess I win the game, huh? I, I, I think just beat the GSL champion and the guy who got second place in two MLGs and then you know what happened was I just forgot to hit this button. Yeah. And now I'll never know if I could have actually won this season of the GSL. Yeah, that's all of us have had those moments. Yeah. Too, so it's just a terrible thing. It, it happens. It, it sucks. Yeah. yeah. Well, both of them have three bases. I mean, yeah, Jokchi is well ahead because he killed off a good amount of SCVs. He killed off a good amount of Marines very cost efficiently. But that doesn't mean it's over. Teja has shown some great skills already and uh, definitely has a possibility to come back, especially when his stim finishes. <laughs> yes, when his stim finishes, But yes. before that, no, he's, he's just going to sit around and be like, ah. Um, his second factory, a bit slow compared to Jokchi's. Chakchi already producing two tanks. I'm so surprised whether Teja got a, a planetary at that uh, that command center. Oh, that one. I would just always get normal. Well, there. I think he got it just because uh -oh. he was so quick on it. He got it so quick, he was like, oh, if he attacks me, I'm in trouble. Oh, Good. this is so bad. It's just each taking at the planetary. Mm. Juicy has to repair with some SCVs. So this is just a, a, a money vampire. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Jokchi, though, only hitting it with one Siege Chink right now, so not the scariest thing it could be. Also, let's not forget, Teja has that high ground. He probably wants to get a Viking out. In fact, making two right now to push back Medivacs and get some better vision so that uh, uh -oh, he can actually push tank. his tanks forward. There's a second Siege Tank coming up here, so now two Siege Tanks are hitting it. Becomes more and more annoying. Now two Vampires attacking that Planetary Fortress. Will that planetary fortress taste us now that it's been bitten turn into a vampire if it lives through this? Uh, the answer is no. Oh, okay. No. Uh, All right. So, um, you know, I think at this point in time, he can even just use the Marines. All right, now there's three. Oh, Teja, this game is going so badly for you. Yeah, but Teja has caught up a lot in spine. Ooh, He's going to move look. around. He's going to sneak out. But oh, but he got busted. We got great placement here. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the watchtower. Jokchi has really good placement. Uh, nice. He comes out here for interception. Well, it's still the supply is so close, Tasis. We have. Yeah, but I mean, the position here is just horrendous. Okay, okay, okay. He see Jim Siege Shanks right over there. And those Siege Shanks going to get some pod shots on the Siege Shanks on the low ground. Finally, a scan coming out of Jockey to try to stem the tides, but he's lost a lot of sea chanks here, Tasteless. Teja doing a good job. And actually, that Viking's killing off Medivax left and right. Uh-oh, Jockey suddenly falling apart a little bit, and his supply is demolished. 183 to 169. Jockey was in a great spot, but then lost that positioning on the higher end, lost that vision, didn't move anything, lost Medivac, Siege Tanks, all he kept alive were his Marines, and you cannot do that. Oh, the Siege Tanks are so important. No. Oh. oh, he didn't stem then. If he had stemmed and ran into Jokchi, Jokchi would have been stuck against the lip of that ramp. Mm. Well, you know, Jokchi's going to re-max out, but oh, his Siege Tank count is demolished. He's only at four. He could have been up at... A good 12 siege tanks or so, or almost 12 in a moment here. All right. Against his opponent, who's going to have seven or eight. So twice the siege tank count is huge. And oh, now it's man. time for the boss uh, Yeah. By the way, I just want to point out, Jock G is always throwing up sensor towers, which is yeah. just, yeah. I mean, that's, I love it. All right, we got a little drop coming up over here. Uh-oh, you were in the wrong place at the wrong time, Marine. And actually, then uh, Tate just says, actually, he was exactly where I wanted him. He saw your drop coming, so now I'm ready for you. Wow, that's pretty heartless, man. <laughs> um, well, I don't know who's going to budge first, but the uh, vision advantage is in... Uh, Tage's favor, so Tage can just peek and shoot with that siege tank. Uh oh. These Marines now see the uh, new expansion, but the uh, new expansion also sees the uh, medevac. Well, just 
some light harassment going on right now. Tasia holding off Chachi from mining on that fourth base. She's doing a lot of damage to that little group of Marines. That was really well done. And in fact, even gets out of there. Very nice keeping these Marines up here on the high ground to get rid of these SCDs. Another scan over here. Now, uh, Jokji has the vision advantage. Well, Siege Tank advantage, though. Uh, Teja not really keeping up with the Siege Tank production. He's only at eight. We have five for Jokji, both creating two at a time. So the gap will close. A little narrow. The 3 3 going to finish a little bit before for Jokji, but the plus two tank attack is going to finish I before think for Teja. Actually, could, if you wanted to, Jokji stim and run forward and kill the tanks. If you push with his tanks as well, because the Marines are in the back for uh, Teja. Yeah, you think yeah. they want to come out quick enough? And look, and look, I think. Oh, oh very nice scan. scan. That is instinct right there, yeah, son. That is completely just him feeling it and saying, nope. You're moving forward right Watch now. Watch out, Spider-Man. That's right. You know what? Watch out, Daredevil. He didn't see it, man, but he knew it was coming anyways. Oh, you're right. Yeah, take that, Daredevil. You scrub. You scrub. You scrub superhero. You scrub you... that just tries to help poor people. It's oh, like, my what? God. The planetary. I actually, if he had just targeted that with the Marines, that would have died and he could have got out. And now, Teja... Is a boss nerd. He's coming in here. They're both hitting each other's planetaries. Oh, uh, he's gonna try to come back and save it. I don't even know if he can actually save this with the SCVs. And yeah, that is a ton of damage output from those sea checks. Oh there. my God! If he, if he loses this, then Jock, geez, I think he might actually lose the game. And he will. Oh, that sucks. But he's going to surround that army. Here he goes. Jokchi stimming and running in, but those sea shanks doing a lot of damage. The Marines from the other side of the flank not coming in quite as quickly. And Teja actually retains the supply lead. All right, we have more uh, Red Marines for Teja. Teja, after being spotted, stims. He wants to get down to the center left expansion right away. Wow, man, Teja is just, he's playing to perfection here. Even though he's traded some locations, he's got more supply, 4,000 minerals, 2,000 gas against an almost mineralist Jokchi. A mineralist Jokchi. I like that. That's right. Um, oh, man. Well, oh, Jokchi's got a great concave there for a moment. A Sea Chink does go up in the back. Jokchi, Sea Chink not going, but Jokchi will plow through a big part of this army. Fortunately for him, Teja. Starts producing a ton more Marines, and actually, the supply actually coming pretty close here. Another really neck-and-neck uh, -neck game here. Hmm. Ooh, the Siege Tank placement's so good. Well, the supply, 20 up for Teja. His minerals are getting a bit lower, but still has quite a bit. All right, he can get some oh, more siege Jack tanks. Jackie trying to get in here, but trying to get into the main base area, but three siege tanks. Going to stop that yeah, bottleneck that, that of Marines. Yeah, angle is so good. But he does kill off a lot of Marines. Too many siege tanks up here for Teja, though. I can't figure out who wins this. Uh, it's, it's, I would say Teja. I am definitely feeling Teja for this one. Even though Jokchi's really cleaned up the center of the map very well, Teja still has a bank. Still has decent income. And in fact, ooh, this is a nice moment for him. A little bit of surrounding going on in Tage's units, but he's holding on to that base. Just so barely, but he is holding Actually, on. And his production Jokji's is not still really mining. In fact, mm. uh, it's 30 uh, SCVs for Jokji and 67 for Teja. Yeah. It's and remember, guys, this is a game where Teja forgot Stim and got really badly hurt early on. Yeah, man. It's reminding me, actually, of that uh, series before when these two played, where it was like, well, Jokji won, but it looked like Teja should have. Well, Teja, I mean, he forgot Stim. He got way far behind in the early game, and still, he is coming right back. Uh, gunning down one tank. And at this point, Teja okay, is trading in efficiently. Yeah. And it's fine. He can absolutely do that because Jokji just should not be able to stem these tides. 
We're going to have plus three on those Siege Shanks in a moment, whereas Jock Jones is at plus two. Both of them have three three Marines, but almost a hundred spy more right now for Teja. I think he could just come in here and squash that last expansion. When the rest of the tanks come, he's going to go for the bust. Watch, and no, he's going to back up. Maybe wait for a few more Teja units. Teja making look bad. Teja making everyone look bad today. Yeah, no kidding. Except for Teja DSTC. making remembering Stim look bad. <laughs> oh, I see. He wants to have a better angle here. Well, Teja coming in now, and Jokji has some units left out in the open that you will be taken out. Damn. Goodbye, Tank. GG. GG. Wow, Jokji playing really, really well. But Teja playing really, really better. Yeah. That's actually what I meant to say. This no. Oh, oh, really? Teja playing really, really well. Uh, but no, it, Jokji actually did play well as well, but Teja, seriously, man, that moment when he scanned, that's something you only learn from mass, 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 mass practice. You feel yeah. the rhythm of the game. And the rhythm of the game is very important, especially in situations like that. You have a limited number of scans. You can't just scan nonstop. Every time you scan, that's a mule that's gone. And uh, he scanned exactly when Jokji's moving forward. That was the turning point of the game for me. That's when I'm like, wow, Teja. Well, Teja, I don't know if he can be stopped. I mean, Teja's actually playing so damn well. And um, he's in games where he's forgotten Stim and he's totally you know, out of position and stuff. Doesn't matter. I gotta say though, the next map in Tombed Valley, last time we saw that Tage is like, no man, I'm just gonna stay with this set of strategies that I like uh, in TVT. Whereas uh, we saw from Jockey before, he was like, well, this is a really good mech map. I'm just gonna go mech here. So will the same thing happen again? And if it does, I feel like this is gonna go on to, uh, or rather go to Jockey that game. We will have to see. The map is in Tomb Valley. And um, I don't know. I don't know what to expect, to be honest. The game was so back and forth in the last series. Actually, every time these guys play, they make for some of the best Terran versus Terrans I've, I've, ever, I've ever had to cast. It's These two are really actually well matched. Yeah. They're very well matched. Play styles are interesting. It's actually hard to cast them because it's really hard to see who's going to end up winning. Yeah, it really is. All right, it's time. Taste and Artosis, Tastosis, the casting Archon. Casting game number two between Teja and Jockey. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. We watch the best StarCraft 2 players in the world duke it out. 